Triangle Man, Triangle Man, Triangle Man hates Particle Man. They have a fight, Triangle Man. The bulk of this lesson is going to be on triangles, but first we're going to talk about polygons. Big surprise, polygon is derived from two stems. When taken together, polygon literally means many angle. However, your textbook's not going to define it this way. This is how your textbook is going to define it. All of these shapes quickly sketched here represent polygons. The one we're interested in today is this one right here, triangles. Ways we can classify triangles, one by their angles and one by their sides. Let's look at angles first. Now there are three types of triangles based on angles. We have our right triangle, and that's a triangle with one right angle. We have our acute triangle, and that's when all angles are less than 90 degrees. And lastly, the obtuse triangle, and that's a triangle with one obtuse angle. So both for right and obtuse, those are identified by one angle um, within the triangle. The acute, it's identified by all three angles. We can also classify triangles by sides. Scaling triangle, no two sides are congruent. So all three of these sides have different measurements. Isosceles triangle, at least two sides are congruent. And equilateral triangle, that is when all three sides are congruent. So when looking at a problem and they want you to classify triangles, they want you to classify them them not only by the sides but also by the angles. So this triangle here would be an equilateral acute triangle. This one here looking at it, um, even though I don't have measurements on these angles, I'm going to guess this is an isosceles acute triangle because these angles look like they're less than 90 degrees. And then our scaling here I would say this is a scaling obtuse triangle because this angle, angle JKL, definitely looks like it has an angle measurement of greater than 90 degrees. Things before we're finished here. Um, complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. So we have two angles here, and when you add up those sums, it's going to equal 90 degrees. And a perpendicular angle occurs when two line segments intersect to form right angles. And that's just going to be that right angle box there. So that's a perpendicular angle.